हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टुडे सेशन ऑफ क्लास आई विल वंस अगेन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स इन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग इन दैट अनालॉग एंड डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स इन द लास्ट क्लास एज अ सेम टाइम हाइब्रिड कंप्यूटर्स देन बेस्ड ऑन द यूसेज स्पेशल पर्पस जनरल पर्पस कंप्यूटर्स आई हैव डिस्कस्ड next is based on size and configuration so from here i faced some technical issues so i will continue from here only microcomputers are also known as personal computers and it will contain only a single processor and only a single user can work at a given point of time so multiple users it will not support in one computer more than one user can't sit and start working and first personal computer was built by IBM in 1970 and it consists of input unit output unit processing unit as well as storage unit or storage devices as such and in today many manufacturers will develop the computers like Dell HP Lenovo Acer so wide variety of vendors are there but initially the first personal computers were developed by IBM there are such examples pc laptop apple macintosh notebook computers these are all comes under this micro computers category only and what are the uses of this micro computers it was used in very much all our daily activities like in homes in office in some companies in business application in engineering so everywhere the micro computers were there and there are uh, two types of personal computers desktop computers and portable computers these desktop computers will easily fit on a table or desktop hence it gets the name so name only suggest desktop on the desk you will keep this computer that's why it will got the name desktop on the table you can easily fix this computers these computers compute com, comes in two modes and this desktop computer also comes in two modes one is desktop model and tower model so tower model is very famous which we use in our daily lives what is that we will come to know that in desktop model the system unit is placed on desktop or table monitor is placed on the system unit system unit means cpu here what happens is that first we keep the table on the table horizontally we will keep the cpu or system unit on the system unit or cpu we will keep the monitor first we will keep table on that cpu horizontally we keep then on the cpu we will keep the monitor keyboard mouse everything so this is desktop model in tower model what happens is that on the table we will keep both cpu that is system unit and monitor keyboard mouse side by side parallelly on the table itself we will keep cpu monitor keyboard then mouse and everything parallelly side by side we will keep that is nothing but tower model so here tower model is very famous now we will follow this on the table side by side we will keep monitor then cpu keyboard mouse everything then you should know what is mean by portable computers portable means small and these computers are carried easily from one place to another place that's why it got the name portable small computers which can be carried easily from one place to another place easily and these computers are notebook computers handheld devices like smartphone which you can keep it in one hand are examples of portable computers laptops also you can consider you can carry it from bag from one place to another laptop notebook smartphones all these are portable computers here handheld computers that is palm top notebook then laptop computers it will easily fits in a hand or in a bag and you can carry it from one place to another place those computers are called as portable computers as i mentioned so these portable means 
small which can be carried easily from one place to another place that's why it got the name portable then tablet computers so these tablet computers are very famous prominently used in educational department it has a flat panel touch lcd display or led display the user can easily tap on the screen by using finger or they can use the stylus stylus is a kind of pen which we can write easily on the tablet monitor so akash tablet hp are manufacturing dell apples are manufacturing the ipad so likewise many tablet manufacturing companies are out there and it is cost is also very effective so you will get tablets around starting from 6 to 25 30000 so there are wide variety of tablets available in the market and it is alternative to computing devices that is computers we can say because these are all very small it is handheld it it will easily fits on the hand it has a flat led or lcd panels which we can tap using fingers or we can use a stylus it is a kind of pen which we can use to write on the screen of the tablet tab we can say tablet or tab the user taps on the monitor of the tab and user can operate easily example akash tablet samsung macintosh tablets variety of tablet pcs are there so this is regarding micro computers next category mini computers mini computers when compared to micro its size is larger and more powerful than personal computer when compared to micro computers it is the next level we can say compared to micro computers the size is larger and it is faster and powerful they can execute 5 million instructions per second 50 lakh instruction is much faster and multi user previously in micro computer it was single user now it is multi user up to 4000 users can process the system at a time mini computers is normally accessed using personal computer or terminal it acts like a server also we can keep one mini computer at one place by using our laptop notebook personal computer we can access that mini computer client server architecture can be established you will come to know what is client server architecture in the coming chapters example wax double eight double zero ibm rs 6000 and sun ultra these are some mini computers three mark question they might ask micro mini explanation they might ask in three marks next is users where this mini computers were used so they are often used in small and medium sized companies and they will provide centralized information one server and client computers will access the data from that server so mid-sized companies prominently go for this mini computers as such next is mainframe computers when compared to micro mini computers these mainframe computers are much larger and they are much powerful too a mainframe computer is a large expensive and more powerful than mini computer it consists of multiple processors and it performs multiple tasks for multiple users up to 50,000 users at the same time. So here previously 4,000 users. Now 50,000 users can connect at a given point of time and then can work with the mainframe computer. Imagine how much larger it is. Mainframes are generally used by business or governments to provide centralized storage processing and managing large amount of data so where large amount of data processing is required in those fields this mainframe computers were deployed it is very faster it is very expensive at a time 50,000 users can access the computer's data everything is possible you can see in banks they will use mainframe in automated teller machines they will use mainframe computers so in government institutions they will use mainframe computers for example everybody has a other card so they will store biometrics of the human being like 
retina fingerprint everything so where this data will be stored it will be stored in mainframe as well as supercomputers at the background so whichever place you go when you keep your thumb impression so you will get all your data how this is possible because at the background mainframe and supercomputers will store the data whenever it is required we can retrieve the data from this computers that that much faster it is and powerful efficient but it is expensive it is not affordable to common man example we can see the most popular manufacturer of mainframe is IBM computers they will only manufacture mainframe computers IBM's Z series mainframe are used by RBI TCS HDFC Wipro IBM's S390 you can see banks many banks will use this mainframe computers for recording day to day transaction users airlines use mainframe for ticket reservation online ticket booking so how it is possible because at the background the mainframe computers will store the users data in banks use it to process high volumes of atm checks and electronic transactions online banking internet banking how it is possible easily in modern day because of this mainframe computers only it has wide variety of applications in almost all fields so this is also three marks question next supercomputers it is larger than micro mini mainframe it has much more capabilities you can imagine supercomputers are large expensive and fastest computers usually owned by government and large corporations usually they are expensive that is true they are large in size fastest computers in the world and it was it was used by only government large very large corporations it can process trillions of instructions in a second imagine trillions that much faster it is supercomputer was designed primarily by computer scientists seymour cray at control data corporation cdc is the organization and first supercomputer developed by seymour Cray is the scientist name. There are various uh, supercomputers are there. Cray XP, ETA10, IBM's Deep Blue, Tata's Jua, Tian 1A are some of the supercomputers in the world. Where they will use weather forecasting, animated graphic, space science, weapon and missile design. In research organizations regarding uh, space, so they will explore various things in space using this supercomputers only isro and all nasa and all you have heard of they will launch the satellites to earth's orbit they will use the rocket rocket science so everything they will use this supercomputers only and for launching the weapons missiles in defense they will also use supercomputers weather to predict the weather it is very difficult when you type today's weather it has to show current weather and up to 24 hours how it will change if you type weather forecasting today and it will display today's weather tomorrow means there will be no use real time when you type today's weather you will ha you have to get the result how it is possible because of supercomputer and in generation of animations so in animations also they will use this supercomputers to generate the graphics as such next is applications where we use computers i think everybody knows this answer because in daily life we will come across in almost all the fields computer has its application some of the applications we will consider computers in science hospitals and engineering yes hospitals we use in science and engineering also computer has its application so i will go through once supercomputers have numerous applications in weather prediction space and astronomy so previously as i mentioned supercomputer users it has its applications in science physicians use supercomputers for telemedicine to diagnose disorders micr ecg scanning for maintaining patients medication id cards 
for patients details for everything computers are necessary to do surgeries to treat cancer for different different purpose computer has its application we get a reference material for science and engineering fields through internet engineering students also they will depend their learning process on computers only for education that is also one area you will come across that also next computers in education that is in schools and colleges you have seen now we are conducting this online classes with the help of computers and its technology only so because computers were not there means this online classes are not possible this is also one application computers have been used in schools since first apple were introduced in 1970 apple computers are the first company which introduced this computers to education at colleges computers were increasingly being used to teach courses to teach students these computers were necessary learning the subject with audio and video classes yes computers in industry in industry products are designed with computer aided design and computer with computer aided manufacturing cad and cam softwares are available everywhere so in an, in industries they will develop a model before producing a product so model of that product they will check what are the possibilities what are the improvements can be made for that product for designing the models this cad and cam softwares were useful next computers are used to run robots robotic engineering to generate the robots in artificial intelligence technology used in building designs preparing blueprints that is before constructing a building a blueprint of the building is design or model for that cad and cam softwares are used computers in banks and business primarily to create bank accounts to withdraw the money from automated teller machine for internet banking that is online banking to pay to transfer the funds to order the checkbook for everything we will depend on internet banking or online banking in nowadays computers in offices including government organizations for documenting the transactions then to record all events that are carried with money transactions what we say then to maintain the records in government offices that is also important and to obtain the information and to law information to obtain all the websites information and to record all transaction day to day transactions as such we use computers there also then in travel and communication so for browsing chatting online gaming so video downloading to play games entertainment purpose video calling audio calling then for satellite communication to travel to book a hotel to guide through maps for everything we use this computers once again then in entertainment news and multimedia several games can be played using computers use it to watch the movies we can get live updates of the news for various purpose once again the computers were used so this is the uses or applications of computer so these are the things you will learn in first chapter of your syllabus so various things you have learned regarding the computers data information computer block diagram the major units of computers the characteristics of computers history who are the scientists who invented various calculating devices then five generations five important generations of computer then classification so how based on the configuration construction usage number of bits based on application that you have learned then applications of computer so these are the various things which we come across in first chapter 
you can note down the points because i have given this chapter using slides only and that acts as your notes also so that you can write this first chapter ppt whatever i have given from first class to till now you can write each slide information in the notes okay with this note thank you students i will end today's session thank you all very much